Therapy comes in many forms. Today, it's garden tour time. Yeah, let's do this. It's time to shut up and shoot. Go! Alright, here we go. Straight Shooter Coffee, the official coffee of Therapy Range. We're going to do a garden tour update. This is my home garden, my freedom garden I call it. But I have two gardens as you know. I have the freedom garden here on the home location and then I've got the perfect pickle garden over at my buddy Justin's house uh, both gardens have been doing really well but right now today I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of the freedom garden right here those tomato plants have grown a lot Now, and this is just a, a bed of dirt. We used uh, two by two by twelves, two by tens, two by twelves. I believe those are, and uh, used three boards for each bed. Cut one of them down the middle, screwed it all together, and filled it up with dirt. Uh, this has been a mix of a lot of different dirts. This was our very first bed, but as you can see, I mean, it's it's. Uh, it's a strong bed. Those peppers are in there, but those were planted late. Uh, those were started from seed, and it's just they're just now getting going. All right, here's our second raised bed. This bed is one year older than the first one. Again, we've got it loaded up with tomatoes. I try to keep these suckers pulled off for a little bit longer. But we're just about done pulling the suckers off because, uh, you know, we're throwing fruit now. So the plants have, they, they don't need quite as much energy going into the growth as they do um, producing fruit. Now they need to produce fruit. So we got the marigolds in here to help keep the bugs away. And this is the bed that we shall not talk about this season. This thing just got no love put into it. It started out as a garlic bed. The chickens got into it last fall, put the garlic all over the place, so the garlic didn't do well. I put a few tomato plants in here. Those didn't really do too well. We had a volunteer, um, a volunteer potato plant come in, and uh, I think I harvested like four potatoes off of that. So, I mean, it just really didn't do very well at all. And uh, I didn't put much effort into it either. You know, as you can see, the weeds are pretty well overtaken this one. All right, now we're getting into Paul's favorite, Paul's Perfect Cucumbers. So we got that guy, and we'll probably pick that tomorrow. But I love to trellis my cucumbers. Enjoy it. I think it looks really nice when you trellis your cucumbers. So that's what I do. Look at there, we got a couple right there that's ready to pick. A couple fatties. There's another one. We'll be making some Paul's Perfect Pickles. Nope, I see another one on the other side. Look at that big boy. Yeah, and that's just out of my little row of cucumbers. We got some habanero and cayenne planted in here. Now these ain't started throwing fruit yet. My uh, pickle garden over at Justin's, I've already got peppers being thrown. Oh, there's a there's a decent one. That's a good looking cucumber. Look at this deformed looking thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that and give that to the animals. I don't want that. Well, I don't want this one either. Look at that. What the hell's going on here? This don't look like cucumbers. There's something wrong with it, man.
Oh, there's one. See, I like them about like that, maybe a little bit bigger. They don't have to be a whole lot bigger, but I like them about like that. And put that right there with the others. Let's go over here. As you can see, I even got room. I got space for another row. We just didn't really plant a whole lot here. Planting everything over at Justin's like I did. Just, uh, you know, we don't really use our, a garden for a whole lot of home foods. Uh, maybe some... Oh, yeah. This guy's loaded. Oh, yeah. Lots of tomatoes coming in. And then we trellis the tomatoes too because I think it looks nice. That tomato got broke off or I might have hard pruned it too much. We got some more tomatoes coming in here. More of the aromas. I'm going to make salsa this year. I've never made salsa before. I want to try my hand at it. See if, uh, see if I can make salsa that's as good as uh, the pickles turn out. Now this right here is what I'm talking about with the suckers. You see that? See that right there? That's going to grow into another branch. Here's one you can see better. This guy right here. Just pinch those out of there until you're done until you're ready to just let the plants go off you know while these look like big bushy crazy plants there there is a method to the madness you know there has been some trimming done and uh yeah all right well my freedom garden you know and while we don't plant a lot of the same things that other people plant our our gardening needs are pretty basic um just grow it, man. Just grow it. You know, whatever your needs are. You know, we like a lot of tomatoes. We like a lot of cucumbers, peppers, things that we're going to use. Um, we've grown the green beans and the radishes and the corn and the onions. Uh, in the fall time, I will put in another bed of garlic and hopefully I can keep the chickens out of it. I would really, really like to get a nice harvest of garlic. I think that would be pretty damn swell. But, uh... You know, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Some years you get a good harvest. Some years, you know, like this year, our garlic harvest was pretty meager. There wasn't much there. We'll be buying garlic. But we eat a lot of garlic as well. Ooh, pulling a sucker. Yeah. Real uh, true fact, though. This guy can be put in some uh, damp soil, good damp soil, and that'll create another tomato plant if you, if you put a little bit of love into it. I don't need it. I got lots of tomato plants. We got more than enough to, to handle our needs in the tomato world. But, uh, all right, I'm going to do a little cleaning up out here. I'm going to work this uh, bed that we don't talk about and get rid of some of them weeds in it. So uh, live your life to the fullest. Anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you. We'll talk again real soon. I'm going to go fishing Friday. Stay free, America, if you can. It's time to shut up and shoot. Hi, here we go. 